This is the fanciest mustard in the world. First off, mustard itself has ancient roots dating back to almost 3000 BC. It was first embraced as a condiment in 1336 by King Philip VI, and its journey continued to evolve through the centuries. The Romans introduced mustard seeds to the Dijon region, setting the stage for a mustard revolution in medieval France. Dijon mustard, as we know it today, traces its roots to the 14th century in the capital of Burgundy, France, Dijon. The town became synonymous with quality mustards, thanks in part to the influence of the Dukes of Burgundy. Mustard was not just a condiment, it became a symbol of wealth and prestige, with feasts featuring lavish amounts of what was known as mustard cream. Some mid-17th century cookbooks noted that mustard seeds were ground using a mustard corn, or getting a bit crafty by using a bowl and, as they called it back then, a cannon bullet, which we know as a cannonball today. Hey, whatever works, right? 1752 was a pivotal year in mustard's evolution, credited to Jean Nejean. He transformed the traditional mustard recipe by substituting vinegar with verges, the sour juice of unripe grapes that were picked during harvest, and were unable to be used for winemaking. So what would have been unusable found a remarkable use in mustard making. This innovation resulted in a smoother, less acidic mustard setting the stage for the Dijon mustard we know today. Grey Poupon, a renowned Dijon mustard brand, was founded in 1777 by mustard maker Maurice Gray and August Poupon. The company's quality soared when Maurice Gray introduced a machine to automate the mustard making process. The traditional Dijon mustard recipe comprises this unripe sour grape juice, ground brown mustard seeds, salt, and other spices. The use of white grapes, abundant in Dijon, added a unique twist to the condiment that has set itself apart from all other mustards, as well as the brown mustard seeds and various herbs like tarragon or the distinctive peppery winter savory that contribute to the deeper, spicier flavor of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard isn't regulated by an official geographic protection label, unlike other French products such as cheese, wine, or balsamic vinegar. This has led to the creation of Dijon-style mustards worldwide, even though the sourcing and manufacturing might not occur in Dijon. Popular brands like Grey Poupon, Amora, Mail, and Edmund Fallot have carried the legacy of Dijon mustard forward. And on your visit to Paris, take a detour to the heart of Burgundy to explore the heart of mustard making. Visit Edmund Fallot in Dijon where you can indulge in a mustard tasting session and witness traditional mustard making techniques. Well, there you have it, the history of the fanciest mustard in the world, Dijon mustard. Thanks for watching, and as always, my friends, stay saucy.